Let us now solve more complicated problems in sets. For example, set A union set B union set C given tong mga to. Okay? So, again, pag union, pinagsasama-sama natin. Let us have the elements ng set A muna. So, we have 2, 4, 6, 8. The next set B, 1, 3, 5. Then set C, we have 5. So, may 5 na. 6, may 6 na din. 7, wala pa. 8, meron na. Okay, so that will be your answer, but you can arrange this from lowest up to highest. Pero okay na rin to, tama na to. No? But to make it uh, more uh, formal, you can arrange this from lowest to highest. So, una muna yung 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and so, that will be your answer. So, what if you're going to another example rather. So, we have set A, intersection set B, intersection set C. Okay? So, again, di ba pag sa intersection, kinukuha lang natin yung common elements nila. So, ano yung common elements nila? Okay, meron ba? So, yung sa set A ay may common sa set C. Pero, wala siyang common sa set B. No? So, dapat lahat sila may, isang, may numbers na common sa kanilang tatlo. So, mukhang wala. No? So, meron, minsan meron sa dalawa, pero wala dun sa isang set. Okay, so this will be empty or null set. Another example, set A, union set B, then intersection set C. Okay, so this time, kung ano yun nasa loob ng parenthesis, yun muna ang uunahin natin. So we have, so ito muna, A, union B. So we have 1, 2, 3, ito, then 4, 5, 6, and 8. Now, we're going to have the intersection no, sa set C. Kopyahin mo muna yung set C. Ito. So, we have 5, 6, 7, 8. Now, since intersection, kunin mo yung common sa kanila. So, ano yung common? We have 5, 6, and 8. So, therefore, ang final answer natin ay 5, 6, and 8. Okay, another example. Set A, union set B, union set C, tapos may complement sa labas. Okay, so the first uh, thing we should do is to uh, get first you know, the answers of the problem inside the parentheses. So, ang sagot natin kanina sa A, union B, union C, I, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Di ba? And then, get the complement, which is yung nasa labas na apostrophe. So, we have, again, di ba, pag kinukuha natin yung complement, tumitingin lang tayo sa universal set. At kung ano yung set na may complement, ibabawas lang natin sa mga elements na nasa universal set. So, we have, sa, uh, sa set na to, 
or sasagot natin dito sa problem sa loob ng parentheses, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. At ang nasa universal set ay 1, 2, 3, up to 10. So therefore, ang natira ay 9 and 10. Okay, so that will be your final answer. Another example, the complement of A, intersection B, union C. Okay, so let us try this first. Example, naka-enclosed din to sa parenthesis. So, ano yung unay natin dito? So, yung pinaka-inner, so kunin muna natin yung complement ng set A, no? Which is 1, di ba sa universal sa tayo titingin? We have 1, 3, 5, ano pa, 7, 9, and 10, no? So, yun yung complement niya. Intersection, no? Set B is equal to 1, 3, 5. Okay? Now, union C. So, yun muna kunin natin yung nasa loob. Okay? So, we have the intersection of these two sets, no? Which is 1, 3, and 5. Okay, so 1, 3, and 5 ang sagot natin kanina. 1, 3, and 5 dito yon Sa intersection itong dalawang to. Okay? Then, union set C. So, ano yung nasa set C? We have 5, 6, 7, and 8. So, therefore, we have 1, 3, 5, 6, 7, and 